Audio Jungle. Audio Jungle. Authorities ordering the pullout of processed pork from 16 countries affected by a virus called the African swine fever. They say the move would prevent local contamination. While the virus has no direct and immediate danger to humans, our Trisha Terada reports retailers are concerned about the product recall. Tess Arna is stocking up on her store supplies as the new team arrives. Her shelves display mostly canned goods. Among her fast-moving stocks, this pork loaf. So she's surprised to learn about the ban on the brand. Mabili po itong maling. Ito ang laging hanap ng mga tao, lalo pa ng mga kabataan. Kadarasan, araw-araw, ito ang hinahanap. Lalo ngayon magpapasukan. The Food and Drug Administration has issued an order to all importers, distributors, and sellers to recall all imported meat products from swine flu-affected countries. Pag nakapasok kasi yung virus na to within our borders, pagkatapos mayroong baboy na na-affect dito sa atin, maaari siyang kumalat. At kapag naging widespread dito, syempre, then yung security ng food supply ng ating bansa, ito yung main concern natin. The regulator warns the public against consuming pork products from China, Hungary, Latvia, Poland, Romania, Russia, Ukraine, Vietnam, Zambia, South Africa, Czech Republic, Bulgaria, Cambodia, Mongolia, Moldova, and Belgium. Dapat check nila no, if it's a meat product, uh, tignan lang nila kung yung country of origin of manufacture comes from any of these countries, then hindi siya dapat i-consume. Ano, i Just to be safe, if it came from these countries, uh, i-report na lang sa amin sa FDA so that we can, ano, we can send our inspector, inspectors there. Supermarket Association President Steve Kua says it's also best to check the manufacturing date. The group is spreading out the order to its members, but Kua says the stock pullout may not be as fast. Pinakikiusap namin sa mga nagtitinda mismo, kung meron po sila ng mga produkto, ng mga meat products na dilata, na naka, nanggaling doon sa mga bansa na binanggit natin, sana i-recall na nila sila na mismo, itago na nila, wag nila ibenta, at i-report nila sa amin para matrace natin kung saan nanggaling at make sure lang na hindi na po ito kumalat. We are willing to take them back if suppliers are willing to take them back also. Kasi syempre, kung hawak namin yun, lalo na yung mga chains with more than 100 outlets, uh -oh. the having stock nun. Itatabi muna namin siguro temporarily to double check, no? Hoping na hindi nga mabutan na expiration and talk to the suppliers. Kasi nga, yun na, madugo nga ng konti. Arna is, is a small-scale retailer. She laments the announcement came a bit late, and she's concerned about how to recover possible losses. May puhunan po yun. Kung kumpis kayo nila, tapos paano naman po yung puhunan ko na mawawala na lang. In the meantime, after allowing a few days for retailers to voluntarily pull out their identified stocks, FDA regulatory teams nationwide will confiscate imported pork products from affected countries. Trisha Trada, CNN, Philippines. Agriculture Secretary Manny Pinol says those who will be caught bringing in processed pork products from countries affected by the African swine fever would face penalties. Speaking to CNN Philippines, Pinol says violators could face a fine of 200,000 pesos. Despite the ban on select imported pork products, Pinol says the local hog industry has enough supply. Our farmers are always capable of responding to the needs of the market. And in fact, one of the limiting factors actually in the production of food in this country uh, is the profitability of an agriculture activity. Meaning, if there is a, a demand for uh, more, more pork in the market, our hog raisers actually could uh, easily produce that uh, because it only takes about five to six months before they could harvest uh, the new uh, uh, hogs that they will raise in their farms. 